take a look at how the markets in Namibia have opened up for the trading week, checking in on the overall index uh, to start off with. So we'll get that graph up on the screen. As you can see, 965 points sitting slightly to the, to the negative, uh, but pretty much flat to the uh, for the week. Uh, for the day so far, Namibian local index, which of course was the outperformer uh, for March, uh, sitting up uh, by around 4%. And for year to date, the level sitting at around 7% gain uh, so far today, sitting flat 287 points and just a quick check in on how the local currency is faring against the US dollar 921.97 and you're looking at a weakness filtering through there down by a third of a percent. Joining us now on the line is Rome Mostad, head of research at IJG Securities to unpack what we saw so far from quarter one from the Namibian markets. So Rome, thanks for joining us today. So as I said, the local index sitting with a 7% gain in local currency terms, in fact down 1.5%. Uh, but sharply, uh, sharply outperforming, one might say, the overall index. And I suppose that's really dual listed stocks, which weighed down on that overall index. Yes. Um, so basically, as you've mentioned, um, we've seen the, the court getting the court to the NSX overall index posting total returns of about negative 0.8 percent, while the NSX local index return total return amounted to about 7 percent after a stellar performance in February backed by a generally strong um, earnings season. In particular, FNB Namibia lead the pack um, with a total return of about 12.5% um, year to date, followed by Oryx Properties at 6.8%, Namibia Brewery 6.2%, while well, Bitmest Namibia was the slowest performer at 1.2% after posting some not too spectacular results. Um, then from the NSX overall perspective, we saw the general mood of the, of the JSE spilling over to the NSX, um, with insurance counters um, and real estate posting the most attractive returns on the NSX, in particular Oak Mutual and Bukele Properties. The banks also reflected some modest returns. Um, and then the main rank, drag on the index came in the form of consumer services, with Druids and ShopRite pulling back from the highs, um, recorded end 2012. And Anglo-American also re resulted on a drag on the overall market. Yeah, I mean, that mining index was down 15% uh, so far. If you look at that uh, three-month performance there, so pretty much quarter one performance. On the fixed income front, I mean, if you look at that, you can really see the weakness in the Namibian, Namibian dollar uh, filtering through because the Albi was down 7% in local currency terms, pretty much flat. Uh, but what do you take out of quarter one? What are your expectations for yields are going into quarter two? Yes. Um, so as you've mentioned, basically negative uh, negative performance in U.S. dollar terms, flat on the uh, on non Namibian currency. We are actually not too bearish on the Namibian bonds. We still think the relative um, the relative yield compared to the benchmark is fairly attractive, considering the fundamentals surrounding the Namibian government and the cash position. And we actually expect that spreads might still even narrow a bit in the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. um, in general, in terms of yield, it's difficult to say it's, it's going to be a risk play that's coming through. Um, but I think relative to the benchmarks, we, we remain bullish on the Mobian bonds. What about issuance? I mean, what are your views in terms of the issuance? We know that the calendar in terms of uh, bond supply from, from the government is, is coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, what's, what's the likelihood of them stepping uh, up issuance in response to, I suppose, the strong demand that there has been in the market? Yes, um, obviously there's a very strong demand with um, local regulations requiring pension funds to hold a certain degree of certain level of Namibian um, assets. Um, what we've heard so far from the Bank of Namibia is that they've indicated that they will re release a borrowing um, schedule or calendar next week. Um, and in the meantime, they've said that they are looking at supporting the local market um, with some more regular issuance and also increased tender demand. So. Um, but as I've mentioned previously, we foresee that the Namibian government's strong cash position will see bond being very picky on the pricing. Mm -hmm. And we might even see a narrowing in the spreads relative to benchmarks. Given the fact that uh, when it comes to the equity versus fixed income space, we've seen a clear outperformance from the local index, as we are saying, 7% gain, whereas bonds have been flat. Uh, are equities still the space to be in, in quarter to two? Do you see any outperformance coming from specific stocks? Yes, um, if you look at local index, our preferred stock remains FNP in Namibia that has been posting some very good re um, results, um, good earnings growth coming through, and then also sitting on a very attractive dividend yield. Um, Oryx Properties has also, uh, we also favor Oryx Properties as a stock, um, given some good GLA growth forecasted over the next two years. Um, and then the 
generally a, a very good or healthy Namibian consumer um, shopping in, the, in Oryx's malls. So, and to a lesser extent, Namibia breweries can also be attractive should, should some of the um, issues with regards to the city being brewery and the JV being sorted out. So, if in being Namibia, our top pick um, in Namibian spectrum. And in the listing space, uh, thoughts that Bank of Vintuk uh, might come to the market and might IPO, is that likely to happen anytime soon? Yes, um, they've actually indicated to us that they want intend to list towards the end of second quarter this year. So we, within the next three months, I suspect that we can see some action from, from their side. Rome, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate your time. And that market on a 12-month basis is up 30% that Namibian local index. So certainly a strong performance we've seen from Namibia. Rome Mostat, head of research at IJG's Securities.